Soraya. And I'm Brandon. And you're watching. More Love with RB. And today we, um, well, we've been in quarantine, just like you. Just a little bit. <laughs> and unfortunately, when you are at home with your spouse all day long, some of those pet peeves start to really irk you. What you trying to say, Ray? I'm trying to say that we're going to talk about a couple of the pet peeves that we have. Yes, we are. <laughs> With each other. Yes. Now we'd like to make a point to say every couple goes through their thing where they have things that annoy each other and those do come out more in quarantine, but they should never drive you to actually fight and argue and all that good stuff. Like, we'll work it out. Work it out. We yeah. try. Yeah. So we're going to talk about our pet peeves. Just yes, a couple. Sure. Just a couple. A couple each because we don't want to start a fight. Because <laughs> we of will. <laughs> oh, we definitely will. Okay. So we're going to start <laughs> with one of my pet peeves. Mm -hmm. It's Brandon's long emails <laughs> or text messages <laughs> or any messages he may send. <laughs> Brandon is a very thorough person. So I love that about him. But like, I'll ask a question, like a yes or no question, and he'll send me like two paragraphs and a text message, and I still haven't gotten like a yes or a no. <laughs> That's you, pet peeve. Are you done? I'm I mean, just saying. Look, we knew what we were coming sure, into. Sure, 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 absolutely. <laughs> By all means, please continue. No, I'm done. Oh, good. So, moving on. My first pet peeve about this beautiful, lovely young lady right here is dishwasher related when i tell you that she does not realize that the dishwasher does not scrub dishes she will take a whole plate of food no, and put I it know. in the dishwasher didn't like the we... dishwasher will take care of it wait didn't we have a so discussion I'm about like, this hey yo like you gotta like take the food off Maybe get some of the stains out because then what happens? You open the dishwasher, you pull out a fork. Yeah, a a fork. <laughs> you pull out a fork that still has food in it. You pull out a bowl that's still stained with spaghetti or taco meat. And I'm like, yo, clean out the dish. Some dishes you just have to clean by hand. You just have to. The dishwasher is not a magic machine. So Brandon will. But she will, don't get that. Like she don't understand this. Brandon will use hot soap and water and clean a dish and then put it in the dishwasher. This, I'm sorry, wait a sec, this is my pet peeve. So stand out, okay? Stand out, stand out. So I need her and other people to understand you cannot put whole plates of Thanksgiving food into a dishwasher that. <laughs> and expect it to come out pristine clean. Like it doesn't work that way. It's not a magical device. Well, my pet peeve, your next pet peeve. Moving on. Yes, moving on, please. My pet peeve is when he talks with food in his mouth. <laughs> Especially like when he on the phone, yo, because I feel like it's amplified. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, you got food in your mouth? <laughs> like. And she'll do it, she'll be like, what are you chewing? I'm like, it's gum. I it's like, I wish I had like. No, because I'm not a cow. Like, I don't do all that. That's what it sounds like. Whatever. When you talk with food in your mouth, that's what it sounds like. And I'm like, I can't. Okay. I thoroughly Okay, can. so you can't. So listen to what I can do. I can go to my next pet peeve. <laughs> so my next pet peeve is the fact that Rhea has to sleep in the absolute pitch black dark. Let me just paint the scene for you. If there is an electronic device that has a little tiny beam of light just to say that it has power going to it. She will cover that with black electric tape. And I don't apologize. I don't want to see it. I don't apologize. <laughs> if there's a surge protector in the room with a little blue light that says, hey, you got power and you're grounded, protected. You're, you're good. She, I don't want to see that. I don't even want to know that. I'm going to cover that with black tape. Everything in the room is covered with either something in front of it or black tape over it so that she can get pitch black. And let me, hold on, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. I'm not saying anything. Dog, the moonlight that naturally shines through the window. It's like this much light. But if it's any kind of light at nighttime, she has to have blackout curtains and they have to crisscross to make sure there's no, you gotta overlap. You gotta overlap, you gotta overlap the so panels. no <laughs> light can kind of like peek through the little thing, whatever. I don't apologize. It is so annoying. 
It's like, come on, yo, like a little bit of light? No. I don't even know if she wants to see the white in my eyes. In darkness. I don't even want to see your eyes. Close them. Yeah. So we hope you like this video of us talking about our pet peeves. We encourage you guys to be honest, talk about your pet peeves. But again, don't let it bring you to fighting and arguments because chances are these are pet peeves that y'all already knew y'all had. So it's no point in taking it to the next level. <laughs> if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Please. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell. We post videos every Thursday. Yes, we do. And if you have any ideas of any more videos that we can do while we are in quarantine, <laughs> please share them to our social media. We're on Facebook and Instagram. Or just leave a comment in the comment section below. And also let us know if you guys have any of the same pet peeves <laughs> that we do with your spouse. And share your pet peeves. We would love to hear them. Yeah. We might even do a part two with this. We might. Hmm, if we make it. So thank you guys for watching. Bye.